Welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah. Uh, today in lecture 13 we're going to discuss black body radiation and Planck's law which is one of the um, key uh, observations and theoretical developments which, uh, which led to the development of quantum mechanics. Um, so we should start this lecture by um, sort of describing um, what black body radiation is, of course. So the first thing is to realize that um, all objects emit thermal radiation that is related in some way to their temperature. And this basically comes about because uh, when an object has a particular temperature, um, that corresponds to a particular th thermal vibrations of the atoms that constitute the um, that constitute the material and in particular uh, the charges, the electrons, the protons which constitute the material and so w whenever we have accelerating charges then um, that leads to uh, electromagnetic radiation so if the temperature goes up, then you would expect more acceleration of charges, and so you'd expect somehow this radiation to uh, to change. We we would expect maybe the the power would increase, the amount of uh, the amount of radiation would increase. Maybe we'd also expect that um, somehow that the frequency of the radiation would change. Now we've discussed uh, already, although we haven't really proven it yet, that um, that the uh, energy of light is given by its wavelength, not and its frequency, not by its, not by the intensity, and so uh, we um, we might expect its wavelength to to shift with increasing temperature as well. Okay, so in this context, a black body, what we would call a black body, is an idealized. Um, object or system uh, which absorbs all the light which falls upon it. So usually most objects uh, reflect and absorb light. Um, a black body is again something which uh, absorbs all the light that falls upon it. And um, and then this this radiation that is uh, that is absorbed by the object uh, becomes uh, thermalized, becomes uh, basically uh, allows the object to, to, to uh, achieve a, electro a thermodynamic equilibrium um, and so the, the resulting um, thermal radiation is what we call black body radiation. Now because this thermal agitation of the charges inside a material is uh, essentially stochastic, it's random, um, then we wouldn't expect, we would expect basically that the that the radiation which, which res results from many many charges uh, vibrating randomly uh, would result in a broad spectrum, a, a broad spectrum of emission of emitted uh, of radiated light, that is at a bunch of different frequencies and that's in fact what it's observed. So on the left here I'm showing a uh, some uh, observed, basically what corresponds to observed uh, thermal radiation curves from objects of different temperatures. The top one is 6,000 degrees which roughly corresponds to the Sun and you can see that the peak of this uh, of the radiation is right in the visible region of the spectrum, in particular near the green uh, wavelengths of the visible range. And that is, uh, it's probably not a, an accident then that, uh, that we and most other um, land um, animals are most sensitive to uh, wavelengths that are in the green part of the spectrum. Uh, here, 3,000 Kelvin. That's basically the temperature of a light bulb, and you can see that most of its peak is actually well into the infrared. Uh, 